Hi everyone, Kara here, and I want to talk to you about our brand new injection molded skeleton. Uh, it's finally here, at least the first off tool pieces are here, and I must say it actually lives up to all my expectations. It's exceedingly strong. I mean, yeah, you can bend it a little bit, but it takes a lot of force to do so. Uh, all the dimensions and everything are extremely accurate. As a matter of fact, when the balls assemble, it's exactly 506 millimeters on the nose which is what we need for the uh, T&M BB-8 Builders Club panels to uh, mount directly to the skeleton. On that point, I've incorporated a few different things. I know some of them I talked about in the original video, and some new ones I'm going to tell you about here. We do have the axle mounting points, which we talked about originally, and there's even mounting points for the uh, for the triangles and those pieces we have a heat inset uh, brass insert for threading the uh, triangles directly onto so if you're using the new club triangles which have the countersunk areas for the screws I don't know if I get that in the camera the screws that go in here will screw directly into this portion here so they mount directly onto my skeleton On top of that, one of the things that I had mentioned, at least on one of the uh, on one of the Facebook posts, is I incorporated a uh, separate track into here on each side of each one of these pieces. And what this is, is this is for a servo extension wire. So when you're running your LEDs to the different areas on the skeleton or on the sphere in general, uh, it's a great way to run your wires without having to worry about them running on the inside and getting in the way of the drive system. And they actually just sandwich directly between the skeleton and these pieces. And I made them so that way they're probably about 0.1 millimeter uh, less depth than the actual wire thickness. So it won't affect the panels, but what it does, it makes it so they won't rattle. They're in there nice and tight. On the actual injection piece, like I said, it's super strong. Uh, everything goes together really easy. As a matter of fact, for me to assemble the entire skeleton, uh, not including the ribs, but the entire skeleton body from top to bottom was less than 20 minutes. One of the things about the design that I've talked about before is access through this area. Once the actual BBA is completely done, one of the nice things is if you have to get inside of them to go ahead and switch out, say, a battery or something like that, you need a way to get in there. Uh, and if you just have little holes like this, it's you know pretty difficult. So my design has around a 10 inch hole, a little bit bigger than 10 inches so you can get your arm in there. Uh, and this is the portion here where the orange circles are just bolt right over top. When you're taking the drivetrain in and out of uh, BB-8, you need to pay attention to things like how do you get it out. If you're trying to squeeze it once again even through this hole, uh, it's kind of a pain because the drivetrains are actually bigger than that hole. So when you build the skeleton, the best thing to do is you build it so that way essentially one side comes off. So from a construction standpoint, what you're going to do is you're going to take these, which you get 12 of these in the kit. These guys get assembled like this to essentially form these, I don't know, triangular shaped, for lack of better words, uh, semicircles. You're going to attach three of the semicircles together uh, glue them, whatever you want to do, screw them together. They go together with just uh, screws, nuts, and bolts, which are included. And what you're going to do is you're going to leave the side open. And then you're going to have one of these pieces separate. So that way, you'll have your pennies in here. And what these are is essentially uh, what they would call biscuits, and say woodworking. And what, they, what these do is add a lot of strength to the skeleton from a, a pushing standpoint. The nice thing about it is if you need to get inside to take the uh, drivetrain in and out, these pieces will just pop into place by sliding onto the pennies. Just like so. Now you have a complete skeleton. And then what you do is you just add the screws to go ahead and bolt this in place. But even without this bolted in place, the skeleton is extremely strong. Uh, I have, uh, last night just for fun, I took this piece, put it on the thinnest edge right here, and I sat on this portion, which is typically the weakest portion of the skeleton, just due to the uh, width there. 
and I weigh, let's call it around 190 just for fun, uh, and it had no problem uh, holding me up. So it's going to have absolutely no problem with the drivetrain. From the standpoint of everything mounting, uh, I went through, I put all the panels on, and we'll show some pictures of that in a little bit. Uh, I mounted all the TNM, TNM panels, uh, they fit beautiful. I mean, everything bolted right up, all the screws were aligned, everything was nice and tight. Everything fit exactly as I wanted it to fit. So, uh, I am 100% happy uh, with this skeleton, I'm sure that you will be too, it's extremely strong. Uh, all the pieces put together, not including the ribs, pop this guy out. Uh, so if you're talking about this portion of a completed skeleton, this entire thing weighs five pounds and it's like 0.3 of an ounce, so call it five pounds. So it's, it's a really light skeleton, especially considering the strength that it has. And as I discussed before, uh, on the original release for this, the ribs do pop in and out. So that's pretty nice. As a matter of fact, in the ribs themselves, and I don't want to get too in depth uh, because I'm going to do a separate video on the ribs themselves. Uh, the ribs, I've also now added uh, countersunk areas for the uh, servo extension wires for pixels, uh, NeoPixels as well. And I've even done things like uh, one of the panels, I don't remember the number, has an LED right where one of the ribs would be. So I'm even creating countersunk areas for, uh, for the NeoPixels to sink into on the back side. So all in all, extremely happy with it. If you guys have any questions on it, uh, please, feel please feel free to shoot over uh, any questions you have. The end color will be uh, gray, which we all voted on, with the orange ribs. The vendor sent me a uh, piece of the sample of the gray. So this is a lighter gray with the orange. Uh, I may actually end up going a little bit darker on the gray. Uh, but overall, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this piece is, is good to go and it's going to be perfect for any BB-8 that you guys decide to do. Uh, even if it's simply a static one or any axle drive, it's not built for a hamster drive system because it does not have a smooth inside. But if you want something that will perform like the stage droid, or at least have the capability to perform like the stage droid, that is an axle drive system and this is 100% built for it. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and give me a PM on Facebook, uh, on the BB-8 Builders Club uh, website, or on the Sphere Builders Club on uh, Facebook as well. Thanks guys, and let me know if you have any questions.